All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Vamy. My name is Aaron. If we haven't met yet, I'm glad you somehow came across my channel. Glad you're here. I got a couple of things for y'all today. It's going to be really cool. A couple of my many, many passions are fashion and film photography, which is a new thing for me that we'll get into in a minute. But as you saw in the title, I'm going to show you my Veil collection, Veil Lives. I think the website is Veil Lives Forever. They are a brand in New York, and I actually came across Veil because of a guy here on YouTube. His name is Tristan Payne. Y'all need to go check out Tristan Payne's channel. He found this local brand called Veil, and Veil has been a brand since 2014. I think they I think Tristan Payne has an interview with them on his channel so make sure you go to Tristan Payne's channel and check that out whenever I did find out about Veil I couldn't get over like the proportions and everything sizing and all that of the garments and like the graphics and stuff and everything is just really cool but like I was really at the time looking for you know that cropped fit with the longer sleeves and things like that and of course a brand from New York because I love New York so that's really cool that I just kind of came across that on Tristan Payne's channel and I bought one piece and then instantly fell in love and got a couple more pieces so I'm going to show you my little mini collection from Vail so let's get into it and by the way before we start I am all about thrifting I love thrifting but don't get me wrong I also love local brands I also love name brand stuff the big brands if I could afford some of the big brand stuff I would get some stuff you know so it's not just all about thrifting for me even though thrifting is a huge part of my life as you'll see on this channel but all right let's get into these pieces because these are really cool so the first one we have is the Vail State Tea this piece is so cool because not only is it like a nice gray color with the nice it's kind of reddish lettering that just looks really good the colors look really good together but also it has that cropped body has those longer sleeves that i love and uh something that really drew me in about this too is the stitch work on this it's like they literally quite literally cut out the fabric for the letters and then stitch it on kind of like it was homemade and I just love the feel of that I love the whole idea of that can't stop staring at it whenever I have it on really cool piece and it's great for summer each piece that I get every time it becomes my favorite so that t-shirt was definitely my favorite when I got it but then I got this polo and this polo this polo is insane look at this I love, love, love this polo. I usually don't wear polos, but I'll wear this one any day, all day, every day. It, again, it has that cropped look, but the sleeves on it are not elongated, which is great because for a polo, I don't really want that. I want it to be like a polo, um, unless I'm going for a completely oversized look all around. But the fit of this is just so perfect. I love the clear white button on it. I love the big veil all the way across. The detailing on it is just great. The, the tag, even the tag that's here on the back of the shirt is like stitched on, but it's black and it has like their signature veil on it. I just love it. So this has also been a great piece for summer. I wear it around a lot. You'll see it in fit pics. You'll see it in a bunch of stuff, just my random everyday life, especially if you're here in Tulsa. You'll see me in it. I love it. Also, green. Green is stepping up in my life. I'm not going to lie. Green is my favorite color. Now I love wearing greens and browns. Ah, together. Ooh, so good. Okay, anyway. Last but not least, this veil knitwear piece is probably my favorite knitwear piece that I have in my entire wardrobe. The fit on this veil cardigan that I got is absolutely perfect. It's absolutely stunning. First of all, the material, it just feels, it feels right. Like it's 
it's breathable, but it's also got this heaviness to it. It just feels expensive, and that's what I love. I love the lettering of the veil. It's kind of, it's really collegiate feeling to me. Love the black buttons on there. I love just everything about this cardigan. At first, whenever I got it, I was like, I don't know how well the black works with this coloration. But now, especially the longer I've had it, I just love it so much. I love the contrast with it. And then I can wear like these black shades and have a black bag and do black jeans, all that, all the different stuff. And this cardigan just makes me look good. I just love it so much. Also has that, it's not too cropped in the body, but it still has that cropped feel. And then it has the extra elongated sleeves, which mm, I love so much. It kind of covers my hand. This is absolutely my favorite piece for sure. Literally all of these pieces I can wear for summer. I can wear for fall as a layering piece. I can wear in winter as a layering piece. You can wear it all year round. So make sure you go to check out Veil. They're a great brand. They're on the come up. They're pretty known now in New York, but they're gonna be known soon throughout the country and then the world. I really believe that because their innovation is just going up and up. Uh, some of their new stuff is amazing if you look on their website. I think right now all of the pieces that I have are sold out. They might be coming back with some of the pieces. I'm not sure. So just be on the lookout for that. But uh, yeah, that's my mini veil collection. Okay, now I know you also saw on the title description that I'm going to be showing you some of my film photos, some of my favorite film photos that I love. And this is just gonna be like round one of some of my favorites. I think I'm gonna show you guys some from my Fuji Superior 400 uh, film roll, which was my very first film roll. So I just recently got into film photography. I never thought that it was something that I would get into, but man, like it seriously is one of the things in my life that genuinely makes me happy taking photos of just things that make me feel something. And I have this like old Pentax, uh, easy IQ zoom I believe it is I'll have to show you guys literally found this camera at a what do you call it estate sale me and my wife randomly went to an estate sale and you know how estate sales are if you've ever been to one sometimes it could be kind of like dark because you kind of know they're like someone died and they're like have, the family's having to sell all their stuff it's kind of sad but we walked in there and there was so many cool stuff like you could tell this person was like very fashion forward and had a bunch of things and a lot of it was just way too expensive but we went into one room and it was just filled with photography stuff a lot of it was pretty cheap but then we saw this camera this pentax film camera and it was literally five dollars so i was like yo i gotta grab this because i had just been looking into some film photography stuff loving how certain photos of friends and other people's uh, work turned out so i was starting to get interested and lo and behold we get to this estate sale and there's a camera right there just for me i was for sure that it just wasn't going to work and that's why it cost five bucks but it works perfect um so that's really cool and so february of this year february of 2023 i got my first film camera bought my first roll a film which is the Fuji Superior 400 that I'm going to show you in a minute and uh, from that moment on I fell in love so I can't wait to show you guys uh, just a little bit of some of the shots that I've taken so far but before I do that I want to give you guys the quote of the day so my grandpa we call him Papa he's on my mom's side of the family he just had his 80th birthday and so he's one of those guys in my life and in my family's life where he's such an inspiration and we all look up to him. He's a very, very quiet guy. He doesn't say much, but whenever he does say something, everyone listens. He's just that guy. And so a lot of us have learned from him just by watching his life. Um, he doesn't really say much, so we have to watch his life. And really in watching, we learn so much. And so I realized after all of these years of living for me, I had always learned from him by watching him, 
but I had never asked him for advice ever. And so for his 80th birthday, I walked up to him and I said, Hey, Papa, what is the biggest life advice that you can give me right now? And literally without hesitation, the very first thing that comes out of his mouth is this. And I'm going to say this quote. And then we're going to go right into the film photos. I'm just going to drop the mic on you. I want you to think about it today. And here's the quote. If you can't be kind, be careful. Love you guys. See you next time.